Oh, good night. Hey, hey, viewers. Woo wee. Today I'm gonna be running a gamut from high to low. I don't know what's gonna happen, what where it's gonna go, but I knew I know one thing, more than anything, is that I got old Betty, old Nance, <laughs> old Nance. And it's gonna be about you know, I'm gonna show you how to do it, you know, to be good and to be better and and generally just have a better time with the game. Do what you gotta do, mess around. And you're gonna figure it out eventually. It's tough, it's never been easy, but it's life, and this is how life is. You guys gotta stop being jokes about it. I don't know where I'm gonna go here. I don't know the direction I'm gonna take. What's my method or reason or rhyme here? I just go, and that's it. That's all I got for you. And thanks to your support, you know, I'm gonna get that one or two subscribers per month, and, and that's gonna be the end of it. So just deal with it, take it in, view it, and, and you know, and, and, and give that like, you know? <laughs> Hit the like button! I'm not very focused right now. I don't know what, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know my objective. My quality content filter is not on. You know, all I can do is just hope for the best. We're gonna work on just, you know, doing the usual, getting better at the game, and getting ready for Spelunky too, because that's really all the rave right now. That's really all I care about. One thing that you definitely need to do is just waste every bomb you have immediately. That's probably... If you want to be successful at the game, waste your ropes and your bombs right on the on the first level if you can. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a pick here, so we're gonna be in a little bit better shape. But it's not looking good. It's not looking good early, if I may. So we got rid of that. We got our pick coming. You know, as long as and the arrow is always gonna get picked up first. You're not gonna get in my way, dog. You've been a useless... I gotta change my mascot, man. This guy... What hap... What the hell happened, dude? Did, did an arrow... Did one of these... Ah, oh, son of a... I try not to cuss, but sometimes I just get so angered. I trigger. I'm very easily triggered. I mean, because I'm getting ready to be in a situation where I'm not going to be able to get out of here in a second. I mean, come on, man. I'm going to go play Dragon Ball Z. I'm okay. Just forget it. Another pro tip is to, to hit a pot if you stand on top of the pot and, and swing your whip. Because that's probably overall the best. If I give you game advice for the future and game advice that's going to last for a long time and, and give you successful outcomes on almost every single run, you want to make sure that you stand on top of a pot and swing your whip. It's really the only way to go these days. Alright, so you've been useless lately, guy. I mean... I mean, I'm taking so long that the ghost is showing up here. I got a dog. I got a dead dog. No bombs. I'm in a half-broken pickaxe. This run's starting great! Something I could have used. Remember, when you collect two of one thing, it stacks. So, always want to keep that in mind when you're playing the game. And if you don't, if you don't focus, you're going to find yourself victorious. That that's the main point I want to get across here. It's just sloppy play and overall just All right, we got a cape we got it And don't look at like another thing that you need to really focus on when you're playing the game is paying attention Overall just to your overall surroundings as I did right there Very embarrassing what I did. I looked ahead. I scanned ahead Instead of focusing on the roof there where the spider was gonna fall on top of my head. You can't be doing that you're gonna fail every time if you do it. So I got the cape, I have no bombs. That could be a problem. If I die, I'm probably gonna fl I'm fl flip out. And that's what everybody came here for, this is the flipping out. Part of, it's a part of life at this point. I'm gonna waste some rope on a thing I can't get, that's good. Oh yeah, left it up there. Man, we are doing good, everything is fine. So I think, keep, you know, while we have that in mind, we well, gotta use Betty as a beating post for future videos. Wow, that was close. And another pro tip is to make sure on a dark level that you rush through not paying attention to anything around you. You probably 97% success rate if you follow that rule overall. That's the general like analytics wise. If you're like looking at the numbers, you'll notice a, a high percentage of people don't pay attention at all in dark levels. Therefore success. She is a pile of shit. That's bad. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um... I mean, 
Oh man, this is just turning into a disastrous thing. What's going on? It's just disaster. This whole thing's a disaster. What? I just noticed that was the sloth. How'd that happen? I didn't pick the sloth. I didn't activate the sloth. That's a rare little thing I saw there. Huh. No bombs can only get you so far in this game with a dying pickaxe. Take a pot to the mouth and like it. Oh man, that was such a skilled maneuver. Whipped you right in the lips. See, this is issues. Handled! Handled! We are, things are turning around here real quick. Sometimes you gotta waste. Like I'm wasting my time playing this godforsaken. All right, we got some bombs. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. We are trending. Unlike this channel. It's really that simple. I mean, the hundreds of hours. Editing video. We got some gold. Hey, gold. How you doing? My name's Lefle. I'm just gonna start ghosting. That's what, that's quality content right there, just ghost. That's lasted longer than expected, old pickaxe. And good night. Whoa, man. I hear explosions. There's things going on everywhere. Oh, I got a beep. Oh, there's issues. Find your end by the hands of T3. Find your end. Stupid channel name. Who comes up with stupid ass channel name like that? You don't bark underwater. I mean, you, just, you Derek, you. I mean, come on, buddy. I'm hoping for a shopkeeper glitch. If I could get one of those, they could just aggro for no reason. That's happened to me a handful of times, but I'm hoping it'll happen again. It's not looking good. It's gonna be a bomb fest. Oh, that's a bad bomb right there. Right in your mouth, pal. Is my heart even in it? Sometimes you just gotta throw as many bombs as you have. If, as many bombs as you have in your inventory, just throw them out. Just throw them away. And this is how you do it. Get out! All right. So what I won't be doing, and I think we've discussed this before, is we won't be going to the alien ship because we don't do that. That's not really something that's, you know, entertaining. Which I mean, it is sort of entertaining, I guess, but. It's always risky going in there. There's no reason to do something this risky unless, you know, because when you're YouTubing, it's all about me, you know? Who cares about you guys? <laughs> uh, it's, I'm gonna get shot right in the face, dude. Why is he still alive? How is it even possible? Reminds me of a story when I was kids, when I was a little tyke. And I used to bully my brother. I have never was really a bully in school or anything like that, but I was sort of a bully to my brother. I don't know what it was. I think it's because he was a little shit, you know? We're gonna go- we're gonna do the old classic ghost-a-thon here. Because I said so, and if you don't like it, you can get out. Just sorry, just kidding. Stay, subscribe, like, hit the like button, and subscribe, dude. If you do that, there's gonna be a $75 Amazon gift card for everyone that likes the video. I'm also giving away a car tomorrow. If anyone wants a car, maybe I'll make a clickbait thumbnail, put Logan Paul on there. You know? There's about to be a serious issue, I have a feeling. <laughs> Served up. And what do you do to my boy? But yeah, I've been playing Spelunky for... It's been a while now. I started uh, on the PS4. Well, almost died there. But yeah, I started on the PS4. And I don't know, I remember a buddy of mine at work said, you gotta try this game Splunk. We always talked about games, so I just decided to try it out and have a look back since. I just walked in the door! That is so dumb, that what I just did right there. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Well, I mean, it really doesn't matter at this point, because I deserve death. I deserve it to the fullest extent of the law. See what shenanigans we could cause. I'm not bringing you the key. Stop asking for it. I've already done that in past iterations and I refuse to bring the key, so just go away and don't come back. Oh, it's just skilled gameplay right there. Probably the most. I, if you had to say, like, if I had a poll, a way to put it, like an interactive poll up right now, you'd say I'm probably the most skilled gamer you've seen, right? Paul Anubis. Guy's a flop joke. 
Am I gonna be able to get back up? It doesn't matter. Keep forgetting. All right. Might as well be an ass hat with the with the scepter. Normally, you don't want to just randomly shoot this thing. It's a good way to get chunked too. It could be a very frustrating thing. Oh. Good with it. Oh, I see what you were doing there. <laughs> good day, buddy. Oh, Bikinis. Just going scepter, baby. Oh! That thing is looking for me, dude. Oh, man. What the hell just hit me? That's just asking for death. That is what the norm is. What should be practiced as... Alright, here. I got something for you right here. Oh, yeah. All yours, buddy. Oh, good night! Here we are with another run. Okay, we're good, we're good. If I die again, I am gonna lose my mind. It's built for speed, you know? Oh my god. You gotta give it to me there. Of the five people that watch this, I would say at least one person. Give me some credit for that. That's an egregious misuse of your time, I agree. Go for millions? be the first to break 20 million legit on this run going for legit 20 mil guys what do you think it's an egregious misuse of everybody's time I'll tell you I have no problem getting that glove every run I'll tell you that it's a baseball glove guy all right that technical term is uh you know, that primary shut the hell up with your jargon oh he's gonna get in there Oh yeah, I clutched it. He's gonna play what the clutch me. Is that, that's what they call making a play, boys. It's very big in the PvP community right now. Oh, he made a play! I took a shot to the mouth and I'm still going. Oh, Gramps, what do you got for me, Gramps? Oh, uh, it looks like you lost your shotgun. In that case, good night, day! Remember, Never do drugs, kids. Your best bet is just to never touch the stuff. Did anyone see a key? Did you see a key, Tom? Yeah, I saw a key up your ass. Oh, sorry there. Ah! The guy that made this game is a devil. I hope he dies in a- Hey, viewers, this is T3. I'm back again. <laughs> This is how to properly ghost. So if everybody wants, I was here to waste everybody's time again. So today I'm gonna to be doing uh, ghost runs. So if you have a problem with that, uh, just deal with it and uh, I'll get back to you. Leave a comment in the section below. <laughs> so sick of people asking for subs, dude. Go subscribe to my channel. Give you a $50 gift card, $50 giveaway. We got a... You want an Amazon gift card? Put it, leave a comment, hit the bell notification icon, and uh, we'll make sure to send you over a $50 gift card for doing that. Just play by play, uh, we got uh, we got a whip on the 90 degree angle. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, perpendicular that to the left and uh, work away and we'll work our way forward. Uh, the chloroform from the left quadrant has been identified as uh, lethal dosage, and uh, you know, she's fat. Other than that, we don't know. Keep your eye on the prize and uh, good things will happen. And, uh, you, you know, make sure you use your keywords. You gotta use your keywords and your title and your description. And, and keep it uh, keep it short. You know, you can stop uploading 30 minute videos and uh, maybe somebody will watch. Oh, you son of a. Decisions in life, when they come down to nothing but Spelunky, you know that you've come to a crossroad and you really have to rethink the way things have gone or are going. You know, I really can't say it any other way. But get get away get get out while you can. You're a gaming channel, and these you just you're a startup gaming channel. You have no chance. Just give it up. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's the way. Uh, play the, the algorithm. The algorithm. It's uh, 
ad click ratio, the click through ratio can only be distinguished. Son of a. Look, <laughs> man. I've had it. I've had it with you. I've had it with your life. You're not getting a treat. You don't properly roll over. I've been trying to teach you for seven years, and you still don't do it. It's egregious. It's an egregious waste of everybody's time. Especially mine. And the viewer. And the viewer. Because if without the viewer, without the one or two views that you get each week, where would you be? Yep. That's what we do, PETA. We whip our dogs before we send them into the doghouse. Speaking of PETA, what happened to PETA bread? Do people still eat that shit? <laughs> I mean, I like can't tell you the last time I had a piece of PETA bread. I used to like the- I used to love PETA bread. Tuna fish? Yeah. PETA bread tuna fish. Woo wee! Oh, almost got handled there. Almost got destroyed. Mangled. Maimed. Alliteration? Oh, this is, uh, this is the content. You gotta make sure you keep it at the two, uh, two minutes maximum. Your average view rate is divided by the total number of click-throughs, therefore differentiating yourself from the, uh, oversaturated crowd. Oversaturate this. Yeah. The hatred is strong in this one, friends. And this is the shitstorm you've signed up for. Unless you found me via ad, which, in that case, I'm also sorry. Look at her face. Look at her face, Carl. Carl. See to your pants? See to your, see to your britches? You fruitcake? <laughs> you stupid barking fruitcake son of a bitch, man. So, uh, how about that Kim Kardashian, dude? I mean, that girl, she is amazing for everybody to be around. It's good to have people like her around. It's, it's, it's good for the country. Workflow. It's all about workflow. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. God damn it! Okay, let's try this again. Oh, T3. Hello, let's try this again. Hey, uh, T3 Gaming, how you doing? Come on, man! Oh. The best thing to do is follow the torch. When you throw it down, follow it down. Throw down, follow down. And almost 100%. Oh. My god. My. I was gonna go legit, but hell! Why go legit when you can cheat? It's cheating to kill the shopkeepers, guys, by the way. I think. So, don't do it. And if you see me do it, call me out. Here we are again. Oh, let's try this again. Uh, T3 Gaming, uh, we're here. We're to serve you and uh, uh, subscribe and like and uh, notifications. Uh, $50 gift card. How was that? Is it better? I'm good, doing good now. Practicing my my spiel. Uh, here at T3 Gaming, uh, we're gonna give you the latest news and information the next guy couldn't give you, and uh, that's it. If I uh, got any more to say, I, I did say it. Oh, yeah, this skin is crawling low. We gotta make sure you hit the first spider with the uh, left quadrant of the upper right eye. If uh, you don't do that properly, you're gonna find out the hard way that things aren't gonna work out in this game. You gotta, you gotta make sure you try. Don't give up and don't quit. Oh, uh, you know, you gotta make sure you're reckless when you when you have when you have an item that doesn't very much sp that spawn very often. Uh, just be reckless because that's the best way to go about it. Put a bomb next to a rock, you know, whatever you gotta do. It's all about spacing. You gotta make sure your spacing's good. If your spacing's not good, you're gonna find out that you're not gonna consistently win like you wanna win. And uh, that's really what it comes down to. But hey, what can I say? And I jump right down on top of the shopkeeper's head from the right side of the left half of the head. With it, you gotta make sure you hit it on the pixel or you're not gonna make it. It's, uh, you gotta make sure you're on 1080p resolution, upload at 1080p 60 frames, or you're not gonna make it as a channel. You're just not gonna be successful as a creator. When you have the treasure chest, you gotta make sure you go right to left. If you're going left to right, you gotta watch out for the spear trap. The spear traps cause issues. Obviously. You gotta practice your, you gotta practice your whipping of the spear. Your whipping of the dart, you know? If, you, if you're not good at whipping at the dart, then you need to reevaluate your channel. When I got my first million, this is the fourth channel that I'm working on. I got my first five to a million views, or a million subscribers, and that was it, you know? It's the formula. It's a part of life. Liberty and the, and the freedom of capitalism. When the key is over by the spider. Chapter 1. Redemption. 
Chapter one, redemption. I said, you black, you black plague. You killed my buddy and my friend and my lo my lifelong pixel partner. Okay, guys. Uh, this is T3 Gaming, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a jungle tutorial. You got to be very careful. Just like every game, frogs are very annoying. That guy right there, the bald head, he is an artificial intelligence designed to assist you. Uh, he does not do any such thing. He's more likely to cause issues than to create any type of assistance. He threw a rock randomly just now at... Yeah, see, that's definitely not happening. You put that down. I'm going to tell you how many times that's backfired. I don't think I've ever actually used the bodyguard in any meaningful way in this game because I've really never tried to do like a eggplant run or anything like that. I just I've never done an eggplant run because the AI is unbearable and I would probably I can't imagine what it was like for Rex when he did his putting up with that shit. That guy that guy's a saint for putting up with that. Uh today we're gonna be going over the uh how to ghost. You gotta be very skilled. And if you don't practice you're not gonna make it. Your channel views will never go up. Click and subscribe. Notification bell. Notification icon. Uh, make sure to, if you don't have your notifications on, you're never going to get the Amazon gift card that we promised 17 months ago. Things are not going to end well. Oh, man. I'm going to die. I know it. What an amazingly annoying. Just the music after you play it for so, such a long time. Especially the music of the shopkeeper really like it's ingrained inside my head now and it's sort of causing delirium like ang like angry delirium very post-traumatic it was obvious that you got shot right in your piranha face dude you got shot right in your piranha face and you still hit me that is such a dangerous situation down there we're gonna tunnel around them we're gonna tunnel around them i figured it out this is genius i just came up with a genius plan guys Tunnel around that fuck. Oh! You just got snuck on, fruitcake! It's not really gonna work out because now I don't have really any way to take care of anything in this room. Oh yeah. This is gonna get ugly. This is ugly. This is as ugly as it gets, boys. Let me show you how to do this stuff. Oh, that's the best. I was gonna say, that's one of the best things that can happen. They kill off each other. Don't get stuck in your little loop, dude. Let me show you how it's done in the pros. Oh, quick turn. You gotta do it quicker. Oh, got him. God damn it! <laughs> oh. Uh, today we're gonna be doing the uh, save every damsel challenge. Very, very quality original content for everybody to watch and it, it, it be a part of the creation. That's what you gotta do. Is you just gotta roast other YouTubers. That's really how you get good and get famous. Just roast someone. Find a niche. You know, find a, like a polarizing YouTuber and just attack them. Because chances are, if they're polarizing, polarizing. there's going to be 50% of the people are going to hate them. And those 50% are gonna come to you. So you go after the biggest YouTuber and you just keep bashing every day. Bash and bash and bash until you can't bash anymore. And I mean bash. Resistant. Yeah, that's the three tenths. Hey, you know, I gotta make sure you have those three in your life and uh, you're gonna make it. The epitome of epitomization can be defined by the character. 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 Caric caricature. Caricature. That's what I was looking for. Who uses that? Who uses or made up that word? Uh, today on T3 Game, we're going to be talking about word pronunciation and history. Top 10 words not properly pronounced. That's a good video title. Maybe I help somebody out there. Because I'm not making that video. I will not sell my soul for that video. Welcome to episode 69 of How to Destroy the Jungle in 10 Easy Steps. Step number one, be a fat character that can... Space evenly between pixels. Avoid the dart. Uh, avoid the sp uh, the spear traps. Unlike right there, don't don't play it safe though. Really, you want to get close as you can. 
Just make sure they come out right on you as you're jumping away. Pixel. At least one pixel away horizontally and vertically. Take the dog. Carry the dog. If you're not carrying the dog, you're not doing it right. And it's got to be the dog. Because on the jungle, we said so. Yeah, see, that's a good trap right there. Just a false... I mean, I... Derek, you, I will smack your mouth. I know about your level generation algorithm, buddy, all right? We know how you do it. I know exactly how it works. Aggro? Oh, look, I'm getting gifted today. I'm not doing much with it, but I'm getting gifted. I gotta talk to you, buddy. Um, I found this in your toy box. Didn't mom say, did I use that shit? It's all about, okay, so we're still, <laughs> I'm, off, I'm off topic again. Uh, back to the, uh, the, the episode 69 of, uh, how to destroy the jungle properly. Make sure you jump on the head of the caveman. Do not approach from the left or right quadrant pixel. Could be, uh, could be a transparency glitch there. That might occur in clipping. There could be some clipping. You know, and really when you go towards the boomerang guy, and, and his name is boomerang guy, look it up in the manual. Trust me, it's the, don't argue with me. I'm back to episode 74 of How to Destroy the Jungle uh, with T3 Gaming. Click on the notification tab. Oh my god! How to properly subscribe to the channel. Uh, you just want to make sure you click that button, that red button there. That clicks like. And the video down below, there's going to be links to my merchandise. Make sure you buy that. My shitty shirt that I paid $2 for and I'm charging $24. It's straight from China. Quality good. Quality goods. Well, I changed it up. I made mine in the USA. T3 Gaming, baby. If you want to order a shirt, just tell me you want a shirt, and I'll make one for you. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Today, we're going to be going over merchandise propaganda. I'm not saving damsels. I'm just yammering. I got yammering issues right now. I'm yammering. Today, we're going to be going over 10 easy tips on how to properly uh, approach spike traps and uh, rescuing damsels. Uh, subplot part four. I mean, how many times are you going to do the same Let's Play, buddy, you know? Jack septa Jack septa dick I get so angry when I find out that guy's popular, dude. I looked at one thumbnail, I wanted to smash his mouth. And, uh, if you feel the same way, put it in the comments below. And if you have a problem with it, put it in the comments below! I'll smash that Jack septa guy right in his lip brow. Wow, dude, there's 17 frogs, man. That's the most we gotta... You gotta time the interval, you gotta see the jump pattern from the pixelization in the background. As you can see here, I'm blowing out the edge first. And uh, you gotta just keep on doing it until you kill them. No rhyme or reason. Eventually you're gonna run, run out of bombs, at which point you'll have created a barrier between you and him. And uh, you're gonna go down there and you're gonna go ahead and take care of business. One at a time, one bomb at a time. Make sure you jump the bat. Once you jump the bat, you can go down there safely. There you go. Welcome back. This is T3 Gaming. This is the properly introducing uh, Ice Caverns level. First thing you want to make sure you have is the spike shoes. If you don't have the spike shoes, you gotta just not play the level. That's because the only way you're gonna win is just by not winning. If that makes any sense. It does make sense because that's a part of the YouTube algorithm that they use to generate add to dislike ratio. My god. Episode 79, Chapter 6 of uh, Alter Boy. Back again, uh, click the comments below and check out my new merchandise. You only have four days left to buy it. You only have five shirts left, so uh, make sure you pick that up before they run out. I only have seven shirts in my uh, in my warehouse. Pootie Pie, get up. <laughs> I like Poots, he's good, good guy. He's real, you know? I make a big deal about him saying the N-word. Eh, everybody says the N-word at some point in their life, you know? Even if it's calling another white person an N-word. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Say it. <laughs> oh. T3 Gaming drops inward. You want to, want to talk about a controversy? That would be way bigger than Pootie Pie and Jake Pulse. T3 Gaming, small YouTuber drops inward. Buzzfeed media blackout. I would cause a media blackout. Welcome to, uh,. Of my Let's Play stream 2004. Today we're gonna be, uh, yeah. Today we're gonna be going over uh, the basics of cave dwelling. Oh, that was just, uh, man. You have your single eye is a joke, dude. It's 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 working out. I'm gonna make it on YouTube, guys. 
Yeah, see, I want, I do want to collect the damsel. Well, you have bombs now, uh, so you gotta make sure you keep an equal bomb to rope ratio. It's funny that this whole time I'm talking about how I'm getting focused and how I'm doing it, and the, the whole time this dude's over here. I saw him when I first walked into the level. I remember now seeing him there. Man, I got, I had something wrong. I, I gotta go get checked out, dude. I I gotta scrub the audio. You gotta make sure you scrub the audio with noise reduction because you gotta get a boom arm and you don't have a boom arm, you're not doing it right. A shock mount to make sure your mic isn't making noise. Yeah, it's making noise, you're not gonna get any subscribers. I almost walked in the door again after my last run was ruined from it. T3 Gaming, episode 27 of 76. That's a spread out series, it's an uh, anthology. I think I've been talking so much that I didn't realize that I didn't collect the Ankh, which I did obviously must have not collected the Ankh because I thought it did. Ah! Alright, let's change the tone up. Hey, hey guys, uh, welcome back to my live stream. This is Mitch Applier. Oh, how could I not do it? What is my. I haven't really watched enough of him to mock him. Oh my god! The dog got thrown into the corner! Something like that. I don't know. This guy's a joke, too. They're all jokes. I get so angered. I didn't see the ghost in the corner. He's not really there. You're not gonna come out right now, are ya? I know that's horrible, but it's something. It's something along those lines, dude. You know? Mitch Applier. <laughs> I should just make... Just make my name that now. Mitch Applier. Okay, well, welcome back to the show. Um, today we're going to be going over tips and tricks on how to properly navigate the levels. Here, as you can see, I'm on the bottom right-hand corner of the level. This is known as the Quadrant 4. Now I'm going to be traveling from right to left to go to the exit here, seen here. At the start of each level, make sure you look up twice. That causes a randomly generated seated weapon at the bottom of a, of a chunk layer. The proven tips of the pros can only be distinguished as the proven tips of the pros. I, you know, I've been real pacifist lately, you know, I really, I told you to clean your room, and I don't think you can clean your room. And, uh, I'm not putting down with it anymore! Mom kills, yeah, I don't want to get into that. That's a little sensitive, I think, right now. I still have moms and grandmoms and grandfathers shooting their kids up, you know, putting the kids in dumpsters. It's always a, it's the right way to go about life, you know? If you want to... If you want to be a good person, you just put your kid in a dumpster, you know? Probably the best thing you can do for yourself is your development as a person. Today we're going to be going over the basic of how to uh, properly throw the damsel, your damsel pixels. You're going to throw your damsel pixels at the object and there it's going to fall over. There it is again, the old glove. Back to, back to, man, back to the... Back to the majors. Oh man, this is a joke. This whole thing is this, this whole life is a sham. It's all a sham. The whole thing's a sham, and you you know it just as well as I do. You gotta be a moron sometimes to live <laughs> this life. Oh man, randomly shoot the shotgun. Lesson number one: every direction possible. Uh, make sure you take the dog. You place on the top of the altar. Two down, two down ducks, and then you place. Perfect. I got exactly what I wanted. Two down ducks, and then fall down, and then you, your, the chunk gets generated as you fall there. Chunk. Bunch of shit. Uh, you gotta take the key, look up here exactly at this rock. That will allow the chest to open. Beautiful. Work like a charm. Works every time. But you have to line that pixel up. If you don't line it up, you're gonna have problems. Bad luck RNG. It causes a modifier in the RNG, basically. Which is uh, more likely to make you fail if you haven't been failing lately. Oh! Speaking of AI, we got a fight on our hands, boys! 
Oh, that hit. I gotta go back and see the footage. That hit him right in the lips. That's right through his transparent pixel. The uh, next thing you gotta do is find a scorpion. Uh, scorpions are a very, very common enemy. You just gotta find them and shoot them. If you're not shooting them, you're not doing it right. You probably shouldn't have a channel. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell in the box below. Oh my god. Oh, we have all sorts of impending issues. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. Okay, we're back again. Episode 70 of uh, How to Properly Navigate the Jungle Without Dying from the Shopkeeper Bullets. Oh, make sure your water skip. The water skip is very good to use for speedruns. And uh, if you're not doing speedruns, you're not doing it right. The B chunk of the left quadrant can only be defined by, by Z pixel. So, and Z pixel is not something you want to deal with, I'll tell you. So today we're going to be talk- okay, I'll be serious. I think the guy touched my fucking spaghetti. The inverse ratio of pi squared can be- and When you run out of things to say, just say random shit. The viewers don't care. It's all about you. I see blood coming out. I have a headache now, man. Welcome back to T3 Gaming. Today we're going to show you how to go through the caves. I think that's. I think that this is the introduction that I've been looking for all along. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, hit the notification icon and the bell below. Hit the subscribe button and the details and the link. Uh, provide comments in the section. How to properly go through this level. Basically, what you want to do is you want to bait the bat, bait the bat down, bait him down, whip him, whip whip the bat, jump over the green spider, whip him, pick up, pick up the pot, throw it up towards the spear trap, jump on the spider, enter door. Here I'm ledge teetering. You can see below there's a shopkeeper. Use rope, press down and Y or down and triangle depending on your gamepad. If you have a keyboard, fuck off. Or any other gamepad, you can fuck off as well. If you don't have an Xbox Three, Xbox One, Xbox 360, or PlayStation controller, you're not doing it right, and you need to start over. You need to press the reset button on life. Oh, that was good timing there. As you can see, I properly orchestrated that to make sure that the jump came at the exact time of the blast. Make sure you pick the skull up. If you don't pick the skull up, you're not doing it right. You can sometimes bait the spear trap into uh, shooting enemies for you. Other than just throwing this into the enemy, I could just throw it into the roof and bam, there you go. You can also avoid enemies. It's also a good tactic for doing speed runs. You gotta make sure you practice this practice. If you're not gonna do it, get in a speed run, you're not gonna do it. The arrow can be used as a deadly weapon against foes. Just throw it and find it down. Throw it and find it down. Find it down and throw it. Throw it down. Throw it down. Whip it down. Or whip it good. Welcome back to T3 Gaming. Click the notification button and the icon in my merch below. Oh my god. See the wooden crate? Whip it. Whip it good. Oh, whip that. Whip this. Another thing you can do is pick the rat up. Look up here in the right pixel. You're going to go down and you're going to find yourself in a hole. That's the hole. So use the mouse to your advantage. What you want to do with the mouse is put them on the altar. It's not going to do anything, but it does do something secretly in the background of the algorithm. You take the mouse, you're going to take this rat to the right side. You want to hope that there's a flying bat. The flying bat's going to then enumerate another behind the scenes algorithm pixel. Now this is important. What I just did there is I threw the rat from the left to right, from this platform to this platform. Both of these platforms are going to be symmetrical. Symmetry here, symmetry here. See how this is a symmetrical chunk? If you throw the rat down the right hand side, you're guaranteed to get a jetpack in the black market level. Tips that nobody knew, volume one. If you don't have the key, you gotta make sure you find it, because obviously you missed it somewhere. Don't worry about not having ropes. If you don't have any ropes, whip the shopkeeper in the mouth, because that will generate ropes. And overall, a good time for everybody else. And if you're watching the stream, hit the notification icon, link below. I just wanted to let everybody know about the special I'm running today. If you uh, if you press the notification link button, the bell icon that shows you when I upload a video, if you click that button, 
uh, you're guaranteed a thousand dollar gift card. One time, first, today only. Today, sh in the next five minutes. Leave the video now to click the link, or you're not gonna get, you're not gonna be able to get the gift card. Unfortunately, oh, somebody just got it. I'm sorry. We have another five hundred dollar gift card if you stick around for ten more minutes. Coming up tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time. If you don't have any ropes, the best way to approach a ghost is go from here to there and um... Okay! Hey guys, it's T3. I just wanted to say, I just wanted to tell you guys how happy I am today. Uh, because life is good and uh, we're, we're getting everything... You know, I have a passion and my passion is gaming. And uh, I'm playing a game right now. Therefore, passion. Obviously, you idiots. On the snake level... What you gotta do is know what the trending topics are. Uh, if you don't know what trending topics are, you're not gonna make it. SEO keywords and all that shit. If you're not using the Photoshop dynamic link, uh, you're not gonna use your... You wanna use your pick straight across beneath this guy. Now this is key. Here, you gotta look up one time, walk to the right. No, no, see I did it wrong. You wanna walk. Look up one time, right in between the chest and the ass crack. Right there the chest ass crack between the two chests and now walk you don't want to run and you're gonna see this spot that I dug out with the, the pickaxe we're gonna put it down but we don't want it to drop we want it to hang over just like that and then press up up down down left right left right B a select start and now this has been charged by the bomb so we're gonna go ahead we can actually use this for the rest of the game without it breaking if it, if it breaks, you did the code wrong. You gotta go back and try it again. Because a lot of people have complained to me about showing them that code in the past. Because I did, I used to show people my secrets, but now that, that, now, now that I'm showing you, don't get mad if it doesn't work the first time. Try it before you rage in the comments. At least try it a few times. And then if I need to, I'll come over and I'll help you. Because I'm all about helping, you know? You gotta help in life. Hey guys, it's T3 Gaming. Today we're going to be go going over uh, pickaxe basics. Okay, um, first thing you want to know is if you whip a dart trap with your pickaxe, an arrow will come out. That's key. That's very important. And what you want to do with this is you can now use this for the rest of the game. Very, very powerful throwing weapon. Works in all situations. I'll show you. First, what you want to do here, you want to throw that down and see it's always gonna it's a heat seeking it's gonna find another enemy and it's always gonna seek out its enemy you just randomly throw it and it see boom got him see there was two down there now there's only one and then you throw the rock and now you have an extra object down there to cause issues you go always throw a rope in between these two rocks here because it's sort of like that Mario level from Super Mario Brothers 3 where you hold down on the white part and you fall through the block if you remember that that basically is going to allow you to go to get the whistle to go to hell immediately so you could skip Olmec. All right, so tip number three. All right, I'm going to make sure we set this up properly here. Okay, so that right there, that might have looked like an accident, but it actually wasn't. What I did there was I created a binary sequence, zeros and ones, sort of like the, the Super Mario World Champion right now. Okay, so again, that might have seemed like I that that was an accident, but see what you want here is you want the ghost to come down, and then you're gonna have safe passage up to the key. From here, you drop straight down, take it over to the left, open the chest, and go in the door. No one ever knew that, and you found it out here first by T3 Gaming. Welcome back, guys. Uh, this is T3, and this is my Minds 1-4 tutorial six. Today we're going to be going over 1-4 basics and what to expect. What you shouldn't expect is for a chest to happen because the chest is, should have already been collected by now. You should have your, you should already have the eye by, at this point. If you don't have it, press the reset button now. In this level we're going to follow the caveman's pathing. Hit one caveman twice with the boomerang, jump over here, hit him twice with the boomerang. These guys have to be one behind the other, and they have to be on each side. See this right here? What you do is you push this just to the very edge of where it doesn't fall. Put the one caveman there. 
one caveman here and throw the boomerang. And now it doesn't look like anything happened, but the big thing here is is once you reach Yama, if you do make it to Yama, you do have to, you do have to make it to Yama for the trick to work. But Yama will have a he'll have a little logo on his hand that actually shows what character you're working with. So like for instance, he'll have this skin on his hand of my character. It's really cool. It's one of the coolest things. I, I didn't they, they the, some of the secrets that they hid they hid in this game have still not been found. Even I haven't found a lot of them. The boomerang can be a lethal tool of destruction if used properly. A skilled boomeranger knows his place, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Hey guys, uh, back again, T3 Gaming, and uh, today we're going to be going over basics of haunted levels. This can only occur in Jungle 1.2. Uh, one, this can only occur in Jungle 1.1 1, 1 through 1.4. And it also rarely occurs in the uh, black market. Uh, here we're going to be jumping down on top. Now he, this is the this is tip number three. Tip number three. What we're going to do here is you got to make sure you stand right between these two blocks where it says ash, and you want to line the shotgun up with a shotgun that's buried in the ground. Duck, shoot. Now you say shoot, but duck, shoot button. Drop the shotgun. And now you want that shotgun barrel to be slightly overlapping this one. See how it is? Now you stand here, whip once, grab the shotgun. Now what's that, what that's going to do is that it's going to make you invulnerable to fire. Similar to how the, the medallion works, but a little bit more complex. Now that includes any fire d heat damage. So like uh, pellets from shotguns. So the shopkeeper, you're basically immune to him. You, he can still throw you, but he can't shoot you anymore now. If he shoots you, the bullets bounce off and, shoot, and it hits him now. That's one of the cool things. I've never tried to put this on an altar before. I wonder if that does anything. Oh, wow. Look at that. A white monkey. I've never... I've been playing this game for hundreds of hours, and I've never once... I've never once seen the white monkey. That's funny. I'm genuinely amused. And that's a rare thing. I guess we're doing uh, top 11 unheard of tricks in the game because that right there, that right there is something I didn't even know. And like I said, there's new things being uncovered every day, even after all these years. Oh my God. Issues, death, destruction. It doesn't matter if I miss the black market or not because I have no possible way of getting back up. If you press down, down, left, right, BA, you'll get some extra ropes. That's a bonus tip. Okay, so we have come across we, have, we are at a crossroads at this point we don't want to blow the ground out or we're not going to make it we also have only two bombs left so we want to make use of what we have properly we now have one bomb hey guys welcome back to the stream uh welcome back to the lot to the journey hit the like button and notify uh subscribe and the bell icon today we're going to be assaulting the black market episode 17. what you want to do is make sure that there is a bomb frog and you want to whip him in the face right next to the shopkeeper so the back swing of your whip hits the shopkeeper in the back of the head now there's it's... funny thing is that won't enrage him but that what that'll cause is the boomerang to hit you right in the face but from the guy on the other side a guy will spawn there that you didn't see and it'll hit you with the boomerang now you might think it's a bad thing that you're dead now but in reality You've created a new seed for the next quick restart, and you're gonna start out here at the top next to this skull. You pick the skull up, throw it down. It's gotta be downward angle, so it can't be on the same plane. So left and right plane, as long as it's a little bit lower than where you were, you will now be guaranteed to have a jetpack somewhere in the jungle level. There will be a jetpack in the walls. You just have to look for it with, that, with, your, with your eye. And you should have it by the time you get to the jungle, obviously. Okay, and and the basics, we're gonna be going over more how to use how to use the web gun, uh, with the best weapon in the game overall. It really really packs a punch. <laughs> oh man, it really packs a punch. Is uh, is is the right way to say that? 
Today, we're going to be going over the proper handling of the damsel. Alright, now we're on tip 7, I believe. Start at level 1-2. You have to find that exact configuration, that gold pile right there. There's going to be one gold piece here, and then a three stack here. You collect that, quickly run to the right, it's timed. Now the only way for you to do this properly is to jump just past the skull socket, up on top of a ladder, push a block down, let, let the spider fall, and now you pick this up. And what you do is you pick that up and you just stand, just stand here. Perfectly, the boulder will go right over your head and down through the level, rolling over anything valuable that you might need later on in the run. Okay, now we're going to be doing, this is called swap controlling. Swap controlling is a method of interacting with the game code with the controller with, you know, obviously out of game inputs. So what you want to do here is you want to make sure you have a golden skull. We're going to drop, okay, so we're not going to drop the dog. You're going to set him down there so he's resting there. He, okay, now follow him down. As long as he doesn't get hit, oh, perfect. He fell right in the slot I wanted him to fall. There's gotta be there's gonna be a skull there on the back wood. Rope up. As he's patrolling there, rope back up. Grab the skull. Walk to the left. Find you have to has to be a skeleton. If there isn't a skeleton, restart. There should be a skeleton here after you put the dog there. This was not there before. I'll even go back and show you. You throw that. Now you want to be such a distance that when you throw it, you don't cause damage to the to the skeleton. Pick it back up and kill one enemy. It doesn't matter what enemy it is. Pick the skull up. Go down the rope. Jump on top of the boulder that you activated earlier tip from earlier tips. Go now bring that to the door. As you can see, I have exactly twenty-two thousand two hundred gold. Plus that gem, which brings me to two, three, two, three, four in the number sequence, obviously. Now, you wait for the ghost, you put the dog in the door, you stand eye to eye with the shopkeeper, whip him once, and you gotta hope you make it. Okay, we're in. We're good. As long as you whip them once. If you whip them and then throw the bomb and kill them by accident, it doesn't count. You can't collect any items, or I might have messed it up. We'll have, to, we'll have to click the restart button if you do that. See now, the cool thing is, is now this shopkeeper, no matter how close you are, is not going to aggro. See how he's not aggroing? You can walk all the way in there, and he won't. He will not aggro. Look, 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 look. See, I must have did the code wrong, because he aggroed, obviously. So in that case, you don't press quick restart. Once you restart, you don't run to the entrance. You see how I walk there? Just you gotta walk straight to the entrance. Press RB, as it says, obviously, to, to enter. And there will always now be a dart trap right above you on your right. Okay, this episode of uh, T3 Gaming is brought to you by T3 Merchandise. Uh, I don't have any merch, but if you ask for it, I can make it. All you gotta do is just give me your PayPal account information and password and credit card and uh, I'll ship that right to you immediately. They say that my shipping is on par with Amazon and uh, credit card information is SSL encrypted 128-bit encryption. Uh, my website has no known attacks on it so feel safe. Leave your credit card information in the description box below and I'll send you a, a, a vintage T3 shirt. I'm actually giving away my 500th shirt so it's going to be a special edition. It's going to be gold laced and there's going to be an Amazon gift card in the sleeve. It's an unspecified amount. We're not, I'm not sure how much I'm going to put in there, but all you got to know is it's an Amazon gift card. If you knew it was an Amazon gift card, you're obviously, you're going to buy the shirt anyway. So you're getting the shirt, you're buying the shirt. So I paid $2 for the shirt in China. You're getting the shirt for, I don't know, I haven't decided. I'd say 37 34 30 yeah, $37.99. If you stay around for the next tip, you have a chance to win a $75 iTunes card along with the iPhone 7S. iPhone 8S, sorry. Okay, an another cool tip, if you didn't know it already, which you probably didn't because these tips are never before seen tips. Now what you want to do, Let's pick the dog up. Now this is important. 
you put the dog down where a rock is. So if a rock... Now you have to be in the shaft too, the snake shaft. Now, if, you, if there's not a rock here, don't worry. Just find a rock and put one here. Now you put the dog down on top of the rock. Let him recover and fall down. An arrow should hit him right in the face. And that's... And that's gonna cause... Okay, so yeah. Now he's patrolling perfectly. He's gotta be in line with snake number one. Oh, there it is. Now jump on the snake. Boom. And then you whip the dog. And now he's dead. Now don't worry about that. Another thing is, is you gotta make sure that you kill this snake and also whip the arrow that comes out at the same time. Perfect. Now, the big thing that you might not... Again, this is one of those hidden tricks. Is after that, you put that... This is a very... I don't, it's crazy how they think of this stuff. You put that there. Line those two up with the dog in between them down here. It takes a little bit of timing. But if you get it right, just right... No. I oh, can't... There it is. Okay, perfect. See how he's lined up? His collar coincides with the, the feathering. And they're both... They're all pointing east. So, bomb here. Now you don't want to collect the, the pick. You want to leave that there. You might be tempted to grab that, but you just want to keep it there. Because the next part of this is the most com one of the more complex things. Now they're both facing due east. The shop should have a present. Perfect. And the present should contain, should contain a boomerang. Oh, I did it wrong. Now that we've done the previous trick, you want to walk to this platform. That shopkeeper is not going to be happy with what happened earlier, nor is the shopkeeper on the right. So you send the dog to do the dirty work. You grab your heat-seeking arrow and you throw it perfectly. And it should hit the shopkeeper. Now he should fall on the spikes now. But see, sometimes he'll get stuck, so you gotta throw a rock. Throw the rock. And he'll sh now he should go right on the spikes. Perfect. Now that'll give you safe passage to the D levels. Which is sort of like uh, Mario All-Stars, the secret levels. And then get shot in the face by the shotgun and you've unlocked the level. Again, not readily apparent. You know, the, a lot of these are such... They're, the, depth of the, the depth of the tip is so deep, the code is so deep, that... You know, again, not readily apparent, but you're going to be rewarded in the algorithm later from the random level generation. That's the key. So it's not going to pay off up front like a lot of codes do. But in the long run, you're going to earn yourself, you know, extra jetpacks, extra capes, extra bombs. Especially, you can always use, you know, extra bombs. Everybody can have an extra bomb here and there. Welcome back to T3 Gaming. Today we're going to be going over how to properly loot a level. Uh, without with with no stone unturned What that means is you're gonna be collecting even these gold like the gold nuggets that are trapped in the blocks You got to collect all of them or, or the trick isn't gonna work like share and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon at the bottom of the screen For the next tip. Uh, there's also gonna be a $25 PayPal gift card Visa card uh, also I'm giving away a prototype BMW Z5 it's been a, it's been a while since I did a car giveaway, so all you gotta do is subscribe and you have a chance to win a car. So, just make sure you do that and you're, you're gonna be golden. That's really, that's all I can say. For the future reference, make sure, you know, make sure you click the notification in the box below. And any links that might be down there, just click those. I'm not sure what's down there, but just click them anyway. I'm, you know, I don't, I can't guarantee anything like bad isn't gonna happen, but you know, it's my channel, so, you know, you can go by my word, you know. You don't know me, or nor have you ever really seen any of my content. This is my fourth channel. I've got my last three to a million subscribers, so this is just a social experiment for me. So, that brings us to tip number eight. You want to pick the dog up. Now, the dog has to be on one of these one by three dimensional platforms. So, there can only be one platform he's on, an overhanging vertical platform like this and then two empty spaces right here so as long as you have that the prerequisites for that you should be good now you take the dog put him in the corner wait for the spider to come oh, I didn't show you that part from earlier you got to get the spider to come over there without killing it drop the bomb as the spiders coming down boom 
that activated the algorithm. Now, what that's gonna do? Now, this is this is gonna sound, this is gonna be hard to believe. But if you beat the game with exactly 33 minutes and 33 seconds, you have to make sure you walk through the final door on the 33rd second. The gold pot at the end of the game, that's normally a gold pot, is going to be a pot full of shit. It's going to be actual human feces in the pot. I don't know why he thought it was funny to put that in the game. You know, I figured he, he probably thought no one would ever find it. You know, because, you know, Derek Yu, the guy, guy's, guy's a mastermind. Okay, so... After you've done that, this is an extension to that. So you can actually make the human feces have like a green mist coming from it, which it's just more like a graphical thing. The dog has got to be dizzied like that. He's got to have the dizzy thing over his head, which is just generally always a pot next to a solid block like that. You know, one of the pushable solid blocks up against the wall, the wall border. Drop the dog there, whip him once behind the back, and he should get glitched for a second on the staircase. See how his leg glitched through there a little bit? He's gonna walk back and forth, whip again as he's going over the pot. Pick him up, drop him down. Now let him auto walk into this gap. Take the arrow, throw it to the right. It doesn't matter if you hit anything, as long as you just throw it to the right. Now that the dog is low health, this arrow is gonna kill him no matter what. Okay, perfect. Now, what that's going to guarantee is at least 75 bomb. I don't know why exactly it's 75. There must be some kind of numerology behind it, but you definitely get 75, at least 75 bombs. Maybe less, maybe more, depending on your situation. Speaking of tricky situations, Jesus Christ. Okay, that brings us to tip number 10. And this is going to be the, the grand finale tip. Now this one is really not as hard as it sounds, but you have to be precise because you can mess it up very easily. What you want to do, what you want to make sure you have is the parachute, the spike shoes, and the sticky sticky gel. You have to have one heart, one bomb, and five ropes as seen above. Now, what you do is as you drop down, there's gotta be, you gotta find one green snake. There's a lot of green snake references here. I don't really know, understand what they're doing with that, but find one green snake, stomp on them like I did there. One gold bar, one green snake, one gold bar. Make a spider web disappear. This is gotta be done in this order. Grab one arrow, get hit by arrow with arrow in hand. Okay, so that's already been shot off. You get the idea. So basically, one heart, one bomb, five ropes, parachute, spike shoes, and uh, jarges. Jump on green snake, one gold bar, pick up arrow, and get hit by a dart trap. Obviously, that's going to kill you. But again, it's going to auto activate perma. This is this is one of the best tricks. Perma. You heard it right. Perma jetpack. Perma jetpack. As you can see, I have a jetpack on now because I've already activated the trick, the, the tip that I just gave you. This is not a hack. This will not disable achievements. It's going to work throughout. It's going to persist throughout your, your save game. Now, if you reset, the only way to stop the trick from happening is if you reset your, your game data. Also, if the trick's not working for you and you're not getting the jetpack, you probably want to also delete your game file because it's glitched out and it's probably not going to work. I got it to work one time post-glitch, but it's very, very rare. Welcome back. This is T3 Gaming, and uh, we're click the like button and uh, subscribe now. I'm gonna, that's trending. I'm going to set that to trending. All right, this next trick involves... This one's tricky. Now this one, you know, I said only 10 tips. I gave you a bonus tip earlier, but this one's tricky. What you want to do here is, okay, this involves the worm level. Okay, you have to have your jetpack. Your auto jetpack's got to be on. Your auto shotgun from level one, three, right? We said bomb. The dog has to be trapped in a chunk lair, but he has to be surrounded by four walls. See how he's, he's surrounded by four walls? Now with the dog picked up, you're gonna leave, you're gonna go back for the shotgun. You need the shotgun for this. You drop him. 
you know, keep him there. Go back up. Pick the dog up. Drop him down. You gotta hurry, though. Drop him down. Get in there. And you're in the worm level. Nobody knew. It's funny. This game's been out so long, and no one knew about the worm level this whole time. You can even get a new character down here. Uh, Meat Boy. No one probably knew Meat Boy. He's in the game, dude. It's crazy. Now... There's another tip that I could give you down here in the worm level. This is another sort of binary hack. Okay, so... I don't know if it's going to work here, because... Oh, yeah. See how these are three different links? These tonsil-looking things? Or these whatever that thing in the back of your throat is-looking things? Okay, yeah, I can't really do it now. I can't show you. This is one of the cooler ones, because it gives you... Uh, it gives you an auto turret, a shootable auto turret, and it actually, it's piercing too, so it'll pierce through like dead bodies. The dead bodies of the cavemen and the shopkeeper and stuff like that. It's especially useful in the black market. But uh, I'll show you because these aren't the same length, so I'll have to do that in another video. Just make sure you click the subscribe button and comment in the area below. I'm pretty sure this stuff kills you. I actually have no idea what hit me or killed me right there. Um, oh, now I see. So back in the mines now. I want to make sure that you grab a rock. There should be, now that you've activated tips 1 through 12, you should have your rock. Throw it up. You want to get that arrow. One gold nugget. Grab the gold nugget. This is binary manipulation again. Drop the arrow and the slot. And that's it. I just was making sure it worked. Yes, the two gold piles showed up right here. The ones I just collected, that that's the that's not a big one, but it's it'll give you a little extra gold if you're short. And you have to intentionally get hit by that spider or the shopkeepers will be aggroed. It's a it's one of the downsides. You do have to take a point of damage for fifteen hundred gold. Most of this stuff is done in post production. Other than the fact that that I am playing and talking live. But uh, anything else that you might see, any visual effects such as zooming in, stuff like that. Uh, at first glance you might think that's like a photo editor, but that's actually another part of the code that's built in to the game now that we didn't know. It's new. See, that's something that I didn't, that was an unwanted side effect that he, he shouldn't have aggroed. Obviously they were wrong there and I wasn't. Okay, okay, this is gonna be the... Okay, see again, we're, got, we're getting exactly what we wanted out of this. Is now, you're guaranteed at least in levels 1-1 one, one through 1-4 to get a 3 bomb box shop. A, a, a crate of bombs. You're guaranteed one of the shops to have 3 of those boxes. Not 1, not 2, but 3. That's very important that you get that. You gotta get that. You gotta get that right the first time because if you don't, you can glitch your game out and cause issues with the Steam server. Okay, that worked out perfectly. Now, we we were hoping. I was hoping that I, God, because like you get, there's so many. You, I hope you're writing all this. stuff. I hope you guys are writing all this stuff down because if you're not writing it down, it's gonna be hard to remember. But I was hoping to get hit by that that pot there because that's gonna that brings us to the next part of our trick tip 13 now what you want to do here is you want to line up with the body of the shopkeeper throw a rope rope thrown now see you gotta make sure you can't see the rope okay now assault shopkeeper with with the whip trick which if you don't know the whip trick here it is throw him shoot him okay now that rope is now attached there okay you climb the rope and you sit there for five seconds you got to make sure your ass is facing out and the hair is being clipped by the ceiling a little bit like so perfect it's activated five seconds jump down should be two spikes here and there is again this is procedurally you're basically procedurally generating your own level you're manipulating the game files, basically, without consent. 
but it's in the game, so it's you know it's it's okay to do. Like the Super Mario speed record. And this is all legit. This is you know this is like I said I don't to. I didn't want to let these secrets out. I didn't want people to know about them, but it's you know it, it got to a point where if you click the button below, you're gonna get a you're gonna get a gift card out of it, and you're guaranteed you know one out of every 100 likes is gonna get a gift card. So the chances of you getting a gift card are very high. It's one in 100, exactly one in 100. So click the link in in the bio. Or, or if, click if you follow me on Twitter, click the bell, subscribe, uh, it, go on. You gotta find me on YouTube because I don't have any way of link to YouTube now. Um, Facebook, sorry, you gotta find my Facebook page. I don't really know about. I haven't been using Facebook in a while, so it might not even be active. But the, there is a gift card deal still going on on my Facebook. Uh, the the 15th like, the exact 15th like, will get the gift card. So hopefully you get that on time and, unless it's already been claimed, which is possible. That brings us to tr the final trick of the day. Okay, now again, this is only the, for the caves and a little bit of the jungle. I showed you, I showed you those tricks now. What you want to do is you want to teeter. We want to get our teeter animation. You have your perma shotgun that you acquired earlier. Drop down from teeter animation. Duck to where the screen, to where you're getting the below look like that. You're looking down. Pick up the shotgun. And clear these enemies out. Okay, so now what I, I did it right the first time. What you want to do is you want to shoot your shotgun to where you ledge hang. You don't want to input anything on the controller other than press the shoot button. Okay, that didn't work. Now, if it didn't work, you want to use a rope to get back up. It has to be in the same path. Okay, that didn't work. I'm gonna make sure we get it right. Can't fall. If you fall, try again. You could, it took me a while to figure it out because you got to be standing on the exact pixel. Close, I was close there. Okay, bam, activated. See, the key to getting that is just persistence. Eventually, your guy is gonna ledge hang. Um, just keep on doing it, and you'll ledge hang. And what that's gonna do, and this is a cool one is that no matter what happens when you get to the hell level which you do have to get to the hell level which is one of the downsides of this that trick is you're always 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 going to come across a shopkeeper that has he doesn't have a shotgun he has a flail you know you know the flail it's sort of like these spinning uh death trap of of horrors there in that hell level the only level that has that spinning sort of spinny trap he has one of those but it's a mini version and it's usable you can actually use it as a weapon I don't have any examples of it because I did the footage that I got from it my hard drive got wiped from a, a electromagnetic storm earlier in the week a solar flare um, so basically I can't really show you but the weapon the weapon's nice, it's not too overpowered as to break the game, but it does, you do get a combo move, so if you press XXX three times in a row, you'll do like one, a straight swing, an arching secondary swing, and then a ground slam, and the ground slam can actually break bricks, and it act, and it doesn't, it doesn't consume, it doesn't have durability, so unlike the pickaxe, you're always going to have it no matter what. And that's, again, that's persistent. So every time you start a new game, instead of having a whip, you're now going to have a flail, which is pretty cool. That's one of the cooler things I did, that a lot of people didn't know. So let me know in the comments section below after you click the notifications button uh, and you'll, you have a chance to win a $25 gift card, uh, whether the flail worked for you. But you have to, the only way the, that's another weird thing with these tricks is for some reason, if you don't, if the glyph, the gift card, it's quantum mechanics. If the gift card doesn't get claimed, 
the binary sort of has uh, it's like it's like a smart learning AI, uh, and if, if the gift card is not claimed, then it's not going to activate the trick. So you have to make sure you click. Basically, you got to click the bell icon and, and comment in the section below um, to, to to get the flail. That's the only trick that requires the flail. Um, well, again, though, it's worth it. It is one of the it is one of the better weapons in the game. I'd say probably the best weapon in the game. And the fact that it replaces your whip, that's the big that's the big uh, qualifier for wanting to do that. So get your gift card. You got a chance to get your gift card. It's not guaranteed, obviously, but at least you're guaranteed to get your flail by clicking like and hitting the bell the bell on the on the notifications tab, so you don't miss any of this quality content that I'm that I'm putting out. Now that might have seemed like I made an I made a mistake, but this is one more bonus tip that I had for you before I left. Now when you start a new game, after dropping down and getting shot by two pellets, now I wasn't sure if I got hit by three pellets or two pellets there. You gotta do a, a Mario run across a gap. It doesn't matter what gap it is, just one gap. It can only be that gap though. You can do it as many times as you want, but if you go say down to this next level and you run across that gap, it cancels out the cheat. So you come up here, now you collect one hint of money it doesn't have to be it doesn't matter what it is it can be multiple instances of money it can be a chest with money it could be gold the bomb obviously doesn't count but that gem counts the gold stack counts okay so we picked that up it doesn't matter how much you pick up we ran one gap and then picked up one hint of money so one instance of money and one gap now what that's going to do, and again this is another cool one, just make sure you know that you follow the procedures as outlined. What that's going to do is that's going to allow you to, at the end of the game, after killing Yama on the final credit scene, if you hold the down button after you fall from the sky out of the volcano, if you hold the down button out of nowhere it's the coolest thing. Out of nowhere, a, a convertible car, an animated convertible car with Derek Yu driving in it, it will, will come and you'll land in the passenger seat. And he'll actually ask you if you want to drive. It's the only time in the game where you have a choosable dialogue option where you can say he's going to ask you, Derek Yu, the creator of the game, animated version of course, is going to ask you, you know, would you like to drive the car? and you say yes or no. Now, it's it's debatable what kind of effect this has, but I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, I, I, I'm on the final last leg of that tip, uh, trying to get it, I've, I've, I've seen a few, I've seen a few effects of it and what, what it can do for you, but really, if you say yes, you're gonna, you're gonna drive the car off into the sunset through the trees and the deserts, in the land above and uh, you know you're gonna you're gonna die uh, of old age and all that stuff but if you say no there the guy gets offended the avatar gets offended and he kicks you out the side door so you start to roll and then the and then the end credits happen so I, I don't really know anything much beyond that but it is it's funny it's definitely one of those things where you're gonna laugh when you see it um, your, the animation, it's some new animations, the roll animation is a little bit different falling over. Your character doesn't die, but he, you have a patch in the end, and the end screen there's a little patch on you like a band-aid. Like you got hurt, you know? So, it's a, it was a cool trick I learned, and you know, now that I could share it with you guys, you know, it's something, I gotta share the, I, at some point I had to share the wealth, and there's gonna be a gift card involved, obviously. So, as long as you're here, I'm there, and you're learning new stuff, and you're also you're also getting a chance to to win a lot of money and a lot of a lot of gift cards. That's really all that matters now is gift cards and giveaways. So if, if we could continue to show you continue to show me that you're clicking that that navigation, you, you know, you're if you can continue to show me the support of my channel by clicking that button, uh, you know, you're gonna benefit. I'm gonna benefit. Everybody's guaranteed at least a dollar. Uh, all, all my subscribers, all my viewers, everybody at some point, if you stick around, 
you're at least going to get a dollar out of it, let alone you could win the $50 gift card and the shirt. And, you know, like I said, I don't have my merch on me, but if you just request it, I can make it. It's only $34.99, limited edition. Now, again, you pay the $34.99, but you get a $50 gift card in the sleeve of the shirt. So you're actually up 15 bucks. So you pay, you pay, you pay $35. Essentially, you know, minus the one cent, you pay the 35 bucks, but you know, you, you're up 15 plus you get the free Golden Boss shirt uh, from T3 Gaming. And really, what else could you ask for out of life? So really, that's all I got for y'all. Um, if you have any questions about the hints and tips that you got here today, just uh, leave, a, leave a comment in the box below and click the like button and uh, hit the bell button. And, you know, I'll, I'm going to answer your questions. No matter what questions you have for me, I'm going to let you know uh, about, I'm going to let you know how to properly do it. If you're having any issues doing it yourself, uh, you, we can also, link, we can link up, you know, if you want to give me your Steam account information, you want to, you know, shoot me over your save file, we can, you know, get on Skype and I can help you do it, like, you know, remotely too. So, there's all, all sorts of options. I, I'm here to help you and you're here to help me and that, and that's really what it's all about. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You all have a good day, good life and uh and and I'm out. Y'all y'all been great. Thanks a lot.